Hey, Twitter the world, it's me, yours truly. Happy Sunday. <laughs> well, it's my Twitter site, so it's my opinion. Let's start with Roe versus Wade. Uh, I thought it was a horrible decision. I think women should have the right to decide uh, uh, what happens uh, with their bodies, especially in cases of rape and, um, and incest. I'm a little surprised that some of these alleged evangelical women who uh, have been speaking out against, you know, I guess abortion. Look, if you believe in God, you should know it's going to come down to whatever person and the Lord one day. So let's leave it up to him when that time comes. Uh, we all going to have to face him. Um, transgender girls competing against natural born girls, I guess. Uh, totally against it. It's totally unfair. We've seen it in the results of many of these events. Uh, I think they should do it like they do marathon races. They have their different categories. Category for men, women, handicapped, even seniors. Uh, uh, it's just not fair. Uh, when, when trans men start competing with naturally born men, I guess, uh, and start winning, then come back with that argument. But until then, no, it's just not fair. Um, January 6th, look, by now we all know it was a fair election. Look, all of these Republicans in these states, uh, these lawyers in the White House, these lawyers would, would reelect the president, all Trump supporters, all respected people uh, have said it's a fair election. It's time to stop with the stop the steal thing. My daughter said, Dad, uh, you always said Donald was a good businessman. I say he is. You know that's one of the reasons why he was a successful president. Uh, but you got to understand, all this stop the steal talk has raised over two hundred and fifty million dollars, and very little of those dollars have actually gone to anything to stop the steal. You know, P. T. Barnum uh, said, "There's one born every day." So people are sending money to that. I guess he was talking about you. I'm just saying. Take care.